hello and welcome to this tutorial and this tutorial is going to be the continuation of the previous tutorial in which we were studying the states of the activity so in this tutorial we are going to add up some more states of the activity so that we could understand in which state the particular activity is now we already have this on create activity with us which was predefined in our program now we want to make sure that we also add the other activities such as the on start on resume on pause on stop and all the other activities which we want so in order to add those activities instead of typing in the code right here what you could do is that you could use a method or you could use a technique which is called as the code completion now in order to use code completion you simply click on the place where you want to insert your code and hold the alter key on your keyboard and simply press insert so once you click that you are going to get a set of options which will paste some code depending upon your selection now in this case we want to include the override methods so we are going to select the option for override methods and it is going to give us a lot of options inside the override method now inside it we want to select a method which is the on start method so as there are a lot of method over here you could just click on some method and in order to search for your method you could just type in your method so we want on start so as you could see we have our method which is on start right over here so we simply click this method and hit OK and it is going to include an on start method for us. Now once you have your on start method with you the next thing which you need to do is that you need to copy this log message into the on start method so that it could be displayed when the on start method is executed. So we just simply copy this go in the on start method and just paste it over here. Once we are done copying this we are going to replace this on create by on start so we type on start also we have to include some more methods like the on pause and on resume so I go ahead and write those methods as well so again if you want to insert some code you hold on the alt key then press the insert key and then finally we go to the override methods in order to select the methods which we want now in order to search our method which is on resume we type on resume and if you go a few lines down here you could find the on resume method so click OK and let's import other such methods by using the same technique so the next method which we want to import is the on pause again alter insert override methods on pause click OK now once I'm done adding all the methods I'll go through the methods which I've added so the first method which we have added is the on start then we have added the on resume then we have added on pause then we have added the on stop method then we go to the on restart then we go to on destroy then we have the two big methods which is on save instance that is going to save the instances for us and then also in order to restore the instances we have on restore instance state so make sure that you add up all these things or all these methods into your application now the next thing which we want to do is we want to copy this log message and we want to paste the log message in each and every method so just copy it and make sure that you have the proper message with it so for example instead of this on start we are going to have on resume and make sure that you make the same change in each and every method right here so that we are able to identify these methods correctly so once you are done adding the log messages to all your methods your code is going to look like this so we have the method then we have added the log message and inside the log message we have replaced uh, the message by the name of the method so make sure that you have your code everything set up like this now if you have missed adding some code in your application then make sure that you pause this video and watch each and every line of code and make sure that it is added onto your application so basically we have added our code from here so the first method which we have added is on start and we go on adding the methods and our last method which we have added is the on restore instance state now once you are done writing the code in your application you go to the main.xml and you simply run your application by clicking on this button and your emulator is going to start for you so as you could see our app has successfully been launched into the emulator but the main thing is that we needed to keep an eye on the log messages which we have printed out and those log messages are going to be displayed into this console right here but the thing is that it is going to display each and every event which occurs on the emulator but we actually want the messages which we have printed out so if you could notice there are some of the messages like on create and on start which are displayed in the console but the thing is that if you don't want the other messages to be displayed and if you want that only the messages which are displayed by us should be popped up 
then you could do that by going into this option and you click on this edit filter configuration and we are going to create a filter which is used in order to filter out the messages which are only required by us. So we go ahead and create a new filter. Let's name this filter as my filter and inside the lock tag we display the message name which we have used. For example our message name in this case was my message. So in the lock tag we type my message and when we click OK as you could see the only events with the my message tag are going to get displayed. So as you could notice here the first state of our activity was, was on create and on create basically happens when our application loads up the UI and everything for us. Then we have the on start and that is pretty much going to start our application. Then finally we have the on resume state and on resume state is nothing but when the activity is just present on the phone. So now if you hit the back button it is going to pause the activity and we get the on pause state and after the on pause state we get the on stop stage and in the on stop stage the application completely stops its execution and finally we have the on destroy state which destroys the resources which are held up by our application. Now what happens if we start our application once again? So we go into the menu, we select our application and as you could see the on create state has started again which loads up the layout for us. Then we have the on resume. This time we are not going to click the back button but instead we are going to click the home button. And when we click the home button, what happens is that the activity enters into the on pause state. So the application is paused for the moment. And then we have on save instance, which is going to save the instance for us. So when we get back to the application, all our data is going to get saved and we could use it. And finally, we have the on stop state in which the application stops performing. Now, if we again go back and we op if we open our app, it is going to show us on resume. So that means we have resumed the execution of our application. So those are some different states of our activities. So basically we have studied the on start, on resume, on pause, on destroy and on create states. And it is extremely important to know these states while developing Android applications. And that is because we need to take care of certain things in the applications which are nothing but the user data. For example, if you want to create an application that the data should be preserved when the user exits out of the app, then it is very necessary to understand all these cases or all these states so that you could use them to your advantage. So that's it for this tutorial and I hope you understood all the states and why states are used in activities and how you could use them to your advantage. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thank you.